What's up, Doc Mike? Today's topic for January 4, 2021, How to Handle Mental Health in a Pandemic. Thank you, Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. We've not been in a great place in the United States even before the pandemic. Suicides have been increasing dramatically, about 36% over the past 20 years. The isolation that comes from the mitigation measures of the virus only worsens some of the stress that we're already dealing with. So there are a tremendous variety of concerns that we have. Right off the bat, there are people that are concerned for their lives. And we're all worried about losing loved ones from this virus. Many of us, in order to mitigate the risk of the virus, are isolated, quarantined. This puts a tremendous amount of strain on everyone. It's very stressful, but it must be done. Statistically, we don't really know what the impact is going to be. So we don't know how it's going to affect the rates of depression. One of the things that I think many of us are recognizing is how telehealth can be done. It's not as good as in person but it's something that works. And I don't think that many of us, myself included, were willing to acknowledge how well it could work before we had to. That's some of the good that might come out of this pandemic. I think the, the first step is to start looking. I think a lot of people are still worried about the stigma attached to seeking help, and overcoming that is difficult. But people are recognizing more and more that it's perfectly reasonable to get help when you need help. There are also apps, things like Headspace and Talkspace, that people are starting to use simply because there's not enough access to traditional psychotherapy. And that can be successful to some people. If you know someone you think might be suffering, check in on them. Just have a conversation that might open with something as simple as, how are you doing? But if you find someone really struggling, if, you, if one of your loved ones or one of your friends seems to really be struggling, don't be afraid to ask them outright if they're thinking about hurting themselves. One of the best things you can do is to be direct so that they know they have someone they can, they can sort of admit that to and from there, take the next step, help them get help.